right, welcome to the channel. Um, so today I am going to bring you with me on a really short ride this time um, down one of my local green lanes. Um, unsuitable for motors just feels like a challenge, doesn't it? It's kind of rude not to on an adventure bike. Um, so this is the first green lane I have ever done on Beastie, my 790. Um, I picked a really easy one um, because I thought I'm on my own, I haven't done this for like a couple of years and I need to be sensible. I don't want to end up in a ditch because that would be very embarrassing. Um, I don't really want to see my colleagues out of work um, in that capacity. Um, but yeah, this was a really fun one actually. Um, just really easy, you can just kind of relax into it a little bit. Um, and for my first go on a bigger bike I thought, yeah, I don't want to scare myself. Um, and not do it again because it's the most fun I've had on two wheels. I don't know about you guys, but going off tarmac is just the best feeling. Um, hopefully, this is the first of many. So, yeah, um, hit subscribe because <laughs> there will be more. Definitely, I can promise you that. I should say for anybody that wants to get into um, green laning, um, it's really good to get in touch with your local um, TRF, your Trail Riders Fellowship. Um, those are kind of the guys that help keep these lanes open, they keep up to date, they help maintain them um, and they're trying to make um, off tarmac riding a little bit more sociable and um, obviously like you're going to get conflict from walkers and horse riders and, and people, other users of these lanes, um, but they're trying to like rectify that and show that we're not a load of hooligans um, all on, on dirt bikes. Um, but yeah, if you want to get into it, get in touch with those guys. They are kind of the guys to in the know. Um, I found this lane on the uh, Green Lane Association site. They um, have another page uh, called Trailwise, which has like a massive map um, of lanes and people can leave comments and tell you like a little bit about the lane um, but that's kind of a really good resource to work out which lanes are legal like obviously you don't want to just roll up some farmers driveway like you've got to be considerate when you're doing this um, but yeah you know if you want to get in touch with uh, TRF the guys to go to they'll obviously help um, help you learn where the local lanes are um, but yeah it, you've got to do it responsibly haven't you but it is really good fun I don't normally film big long chunks of road, I find them really boring to watch, um, if I'm honest. Um, but with green lanes, I find it a little bit different because as someone that isn't always that confident, um, knowing what to expect is like half of the battle. Um, so like when I've been watching some of the green lanes in the dales, like I know kind of what's over there, which is why I'm waiting for my better half to come with me and, and be my, uh, my safety blanket, um, aka picking up my bike when I throw it on the floor. <laughs> but this one's really easy and really nice hard packed. It was a little bit slippy with the mud down the middle, um, my own fault for crossing over it, and I had like a little bit of a wiggle, um, which you probably couldn't even see with the naked eye, but I felt it and that is all that matters. Chris Birch, I am not. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping that this is useful to somebody, um, or you know, gives you a bit of inspiration to get out there and, and try it because it is great fun. Um, but yeah, there you go. Full lane near Driftfield.
So I know that wasn't the most riveting lane. Um, they were far more technical and far more interesting ones to watch, I am sure. Um, but thank you for watching all the same. I really, really appreciate the support. Please hit like and subscribe for more content. Um, thanks for watching. Ride safe.